everyone, it's Eel of the World and today I am back with another cosplay video. In this video I am talking you through how I put together my Joyce Byers cosplay from season 3 of the Netflix show Stranger Things. This cosplay is one of my favourites to do but whenever I do it I always get DMs and comments asking where I got certain things from or how I did certain things so all of the things in this video are going to be listed in the description below so you can get everything from there. Without further ado, let's start! So I am starting off by taking my favourite concealer and I am putting this on my problem zone. I am focusing this on my under eye circles but granted you can leave them out and it will add to the look. Then I am taking a matching foundation and I am just putting this on top with a brush. I do use my hands afterwards just to blend it in. Then I am taking a light brown and I'm putting this on both of my eyelids. Then taking a creamier lighter colour, put this on your brow bone. After that take a mascara and just coat loads of this onto your eyelashes. Put this on both your top and bottom lashes. Occasionally when I do Joyce I choose to wear false lashes but for the most part I leave them out because she doesn't really wear them in the show and that's just kind of a thing I do sometimes. Then taking a medium brown colour, put this on your nose. This is just going to be some gentle contouring so just do it on the sides of your nose and then angle that up to reach your eyebrows. Don't do big thick harsh lines because it will look really funny. Um, I'm putting a little bit under my lip as well just to give it some definition. Now for the actual shading, we are using the Hoola by Benefit bronzer. Put this on the sides of your face and the sides of your nose as well. It's important that the lines you did before are not big and thick like I mentioned because it will just look really funny. So do it as subtle as possible. Then take a makeup brush that's really fluffy and just blend everything together. Then I take this blusher, this is a Chanel one and I put so much of this on the apples of my cheeks. I really love this blusher but it's not anywhere near as pigmented as it should be. This is why I'm using so much. Then I'm taking a darker blusher and I'm putting this on the tops of my cheeks. Then taking a highlighter, put this on your nose, chin, and a little bit on your cheekbones. Then I'm taking another fluffy brush and I'm just blending everything in yet again. Now for the lips, I am using a light pink colour and you just kind of dab this on your lips and then use your finger to blend it out. You don't want them to be super pigmented, you just want it tinted a little bit. For the hair, for the hair I just kind of open it all up with my fingers, then brush the fringe down into place. It's important to note that my hair is naturally curly, so if you have straight hair you might have to do things differently. Then I am taking my fingers and ruffling through all of the curls. You need to just kind of open up everything with your fingers. Then taking a curling wand, I am sectioning my hair into two halves and I am roughly using the curling wand just to kind of pull the curls out and make them more like big waves. It really doesn't matter if this is messy, Joyce's hair is messy in the show and it really adds to her character, so it doesn't matter how roughly you do this. You might have to go back and forth a few times but you'll get it in the end, it's very easy. Then I'm taking the straighteners and I am just using these on the ends of my hair. Again, I am taking big clumps and I'm using this to kind of curl them up. This is only because where my hair is a different kind of curl, it looks a bit odd with like the waves and then very curly curly at the bottom. So I just kind of used this to make them all in clumps. If you use big clumps of hair when you do this, it will make it so much more accurate. That is the hair and makeup done. 
it is super simple and easy. To be honest, I really like this one because it's very similar to my everyday makeup and hair. I really don't have to change that much up. Now we are moving on to the clothes. So Joyce wears a ringer tee. It took me ages to find what they were called, so I thought I'd share that with you all. And I'm taking this stripy shirt that I got from eBay and I am just wrapping it around my waist. This is actually a men's shirt. Now for the jeans, they are called dad jeans. It's just the cut of them. They're very loose and baggy and kind of not fitted at all. Then for the trainers, you just need some white ones. To be honest, the more old and beat up, the better for this. Mine are quite new, so they're not as destroyed as her ones are in the show. And that is it. It's so easy and it's so fun. This is one of my all-time favorite characters ever. For my video i really hope you enjoyed if you did leave a thumbs up i do have more stranger things videos planned so if you like stranger things be sure to subscribe to my channel so you don't miss them i'd love to know in the comments if you think joyce and hopper will get together in season four personally i really hope they do that would be like the ultimate ship come true let me know everything you think and that is all i have to say thank you so much for watching and i'll see you in the next one mm -hmm.